Hello and welcome to outdoor yoga. Uh, a friend of mine suggested that I make an outdoor video or that I actually make all my videos outdoors some weeks ago and I liked the idea but it was still very cold and then we had some days with nice weather and then I said yes and then today the weather is not that nice so that's why I'm wearing a hat and a woolen uh, sweater but we'll see how it goes uh, this is a beautiful uh, place not very far from my home so this is uh, a real Norwegian fjord um, and here in Norway it's still the end of the winter so we've had a couple of days with uh, the feeling of spring uh, the sun was out and you could feel that the sun was warming already and then today we're back to cloudy weather and then suddenly the temperature drops again so today we're going to do a practice uh, mainly focusing on lunges I really like doing lunges and they're very efficient for working with the legs you open and you work with strength at the same time uh, you also work with your core muscles and your back muscles and they are very simple uh, so you might want to have uh, a couple of blocks again if you don't have blocks don't worry I think you'll manage anyhow and then we'll work a bit with uh, the abdomen the belly muscles uh, doing some variations of uh, plank poses so today we'll start standing because it's a bit cold <laughs> here in the Norwegian fjord so have your feet hip width apart and feel that you really ground your feet so feel the sole of your feet sinking down towards your mat press your feet to the mat and from there lift your legs engage slightly your thigh muscles lengthen your spine roll your shoulders back and away from your ears chin slightly tucked in and if it's okay for you you can close your eyes and just just take the time to check in with yourself so feel the sole of your feet on the mat and then move your attention upwards through your toes the top of your feet ankles through your legs your glutes your belly lower back middle back upper back chest shoulders and your neck feel the tip of your fingers your palms the back of your hands your arms and then bring your attention to your face try to relax your jaw and your forehead all the way to the top of your head and then as usual bring your attention to your breath feel your breath And on your next exhale, allow yourself to exhale completely. And then inhale slower and deeper than usual. And exhale again completely. Inhale, counting to four or five, maybe even six. And exhale, counting four, five or six just continue like this establishing a slow deep rhythm of your breath and as usual if you manage try to breathe through the back of your throat so you can hear your breath and slowly open your eyes and we'll continue with a warm-up so on your inhale bring your chin up and on your exhale chin towards your chest relax your shoulders and again inhale up exhale down and we'll do three more inhale and exhale two more 
exhale and last one exhale inhale bring your head back to center now we'll tilt to the head from left to right so inhale tilt to the left exhale to the right and again inhale and exhale keep feeling your feet in contact with the mat keep your spine long we do two more and last one exhale and come back to center now turn your head from side to side so inhale to the left exhale to the right and again inhale exhale and three more two more and last one and come back to center good open your stance a little bit more bring your arms in front of you bend your uh, elbows a little bit and on your inhale bring your arms above your head lengthen your spine exhale bring your elbows towards your waist and again inhale and exhale three more to so feel how you become longer and lighter and you open up for your breath when you bring your arms above your head and last one pause and reverse the movement so now you can round a little bit your upper back when you bring your elbows in front of your chest so inhale open your chest exhale round your back a little bit and inhale and exhale two more and last one and exhale Bring your hands to your waist. We'll make circles with the waist. So on your inhale, tilt your pelvis back and around, and on your exhale, bring your hips forward. And again, inhale and exhale. So you can bend your knees a little bit. Just make sure that you keep your upper body steady. So again, if it's a bit difficult to make circles, make it a bit mechanical. That's okay. And last one and reverse and three more and last one here and come back to center a bit of balancing stand on your left foot bring your right knee up and start making circles with your hip so remember to focus that the movement comes from your hip joint so you don't need to move your whole body and if it's very challenging find a wall or a chair and support yourself there finish your exhale here and reverse more last one and relax your right leg press your foot into the ground lift your left leg up and start making circles breathe two more last one exhale and reverse the movement and last one and relax come to all fours so as you shall have your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips spread your fingers wide apart from each other press your hands to the mat stick your sitting bones out and your chest forward inhale look up and exhale round your back chin towards your chest and again inhale 
and exhale. We do three more. Two more. Exhale. And last one. Finish your exhale. And come back to center. Now on your inhale, lift your right leg back and your left hand forward. Exhale, both down and change sides. Left leg, right arm, inhale. Exhale, down and com continue alternating like this. So try to think that you make a straight line from the tip of your fingers to the tip of your toes when you lift your hand and your leg and you leave the rest of your body steady. Two more for each side, inhale and exhale. Last one. And lift your right leg up, left arm up and stay here for five breaths. So pay attention to your left hip that it doesn't tilt towards the side so they don't drop. Two more full breaths. Finish your exhale and relax. And we change sides. Left leg, right arm. Two more full breaths. Finish your exhale and relax. Good, bring your hands slightly forward. Inhale, look up here, and on your exhale, round your back and come into child's pose. Inhale, come up again, and exhale, chest, chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, forehead down. Engage your belly muscles and come up again. On your inhale, exhale into child's pose. Inhale back to all fours. Exhale, chin chest down. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, forehead down. Inhale, push yourself back to your knees. Exhale, child's pose. And three more like this. Inhale up, chin, chest down, elbows point backwards. Inhale, cobra, forehead down. Push yourself up, inhale, and child's pose. Two more. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, cobra and forehead down push yourself back and child's pose last one inhale chin chest down inhale cobra forehead down inhale and go into child's pose and stay there. Two more full breaths here. And inhale, come back to all fours. Good. Now on your inhale, lift your right leg back again. Turn your left foot slightly out 
<laughs> and slowly slowly start lifting your right arm up so you come to a kind of side plank you can flex your right foot imagine that you're pushing someone away from you with that foot open your chest two more full breaths same as your exhale slowly come back to all fours and we change sides so left leg back and right foot slightly out slowly slowly start lifting your right left arm sorry up and stay three more breaths last one inhale exhale and hand and foot down and relax okay so we're going to do a series of plank poses i'll give you some alternatives and you just choose whatever is best for you so first variation we're going to be on our elbows so Press your forearms to the mat. You can interlace your fingers and press the side of your hands into the mat. You can come into full plank here, or you can keep your knees down, but just think about keeping your belly slightly tucked in and engaged. So you choose whatever is better for you. If you have your legs extended, press your heels back. And I count to five four, three, two, one, bring your knees down and then bring your right arm to, with your hand pointing towards the side of your mat and roll towards your side to come into a side plank and I count five, four, three, two, one, and slowly change sides, left arm, left side, and five, four, three, two, one, and both arms down, knees down, and go into child's pose for a couple of breaths. Finish your exhale and come back to all fours. Now you can either do this same variation, first variation, or you can do second variation. So on the second variation, you, we're on our hands. Again, you can come here. So you need to bring your hips slightly forward, but don't let them drop. So you're using your belly muscles to keep you here. Press your hands to the mat. Don't let your shoulders drop. So be here. Otherwise, you can come into a full plank. And again, I count to five, four, three, two, one. Right hand just under your face or in front of your face and roll towards your left side. You can have your hand in your waist or up. You can have your foot in front of you all you need to think of is that you're engaging the side of your abdomen. And two more full breaths here. Finish your exhale and bring your hand down. Come back to a full plank. Left hand in front of you. Turn to the other side. Hand on your waist, foot in front of you if you want to, and arm up, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come back to plank, knees down, 
and go into child's pose again. Full breath. Relax. One more full breath. Slowly come up. Bring your right leg forward and left leg forward. Keep your knees bent, hands to your waist and come all the way up. So we're done with the planks. Okay, so I'm going to take my socks off because I don't like doing standing poses with socks even though it's a bit cold. I think I'll survive. So we're going to start our uh, lunge sequence. So you want to have your blocks close to you in case, in case you need them. And then we're going to try to have a little bit of fun with our balance. But first I want us to warm up a little bit our legs. So have your feet hip width apart and we'll do just some dynamic chair poses. So on your inhale, bring your uh, hips back and sit, and on your exhale, forward and up. And again, inhale, and exhale, and we do eight more, inhale, and exhale. So remember that you start by pushing your buttocks back, and then you sit, and you come up again and squeeze a little bit your glutes, and again. Inhale on your way down, exhale on your way up, and five more. Inhale and exhale. And three more. Two more. And last one. And exhale, come up. Hands to your waist and lift your right knee up and start pushing your foot back, extend your foot and slowly, slowly start bending your right knee, <laughs> slowly until you come to a high lunge and bring your hands down. So you want to have good distance between both legs. You want to have a right line between your knee and your heel. You can use your blocks. Press your hands to the blocks. Open your chest, tuck your lower belly slightly in. Press your back heel back. Lift your back knee up. Breathe. So try to feel that you're distributing the weight of your body on both legs and not much on your arms. Two more full breaths. Finish your exhale and bring your block to the inside of your left foot <laughs> and your hand to the block left hand on your lower back inhale and twist you can stay here or you can bring your arm above your head or up breathe but try to keep your legs steady as they were when we were facing forward three more full breaths Last one. Exhale. Bring your hand down. Now we're going to try to come up. It's very uneven uh, floor here, so we'll see how it goes. So slowly come up. Yeah, I managed. Bend your knees slightly more. Have your torso in line with your hips. And bring your arms above your head. Open your chest, lengthen your spine, press your front foot into the mat, your back heel presses slightly back, engage both legs and enjoy the pose.
one more full breath here. Finish your exhale and bring your hands down again, both sides of your foot. And on your inhale, bring your right leg forward again. Look up and fold. Stay here for a couple of breaths or three or four. Feel the difference between both legs. You might notice that they feel slightly differently because now we've worked quite a lot with the left leg, a bit with the right too, but the one with who did most of the job was the left one. So don't worry, we'll work with the other one soon. Finish your exhale here. Then you inhale, look up. Exhale, hands to your waist. Bend your knees and inhale, come all the way. Good. Okay, we do the other side. So, find your balance on your right foot. Lift your left knee up. And slowly, slowly start pushing your foot back. Lengthen your leg. And start bending your right knee until you come to a high lunge. So you have to stop on the way. We kind of are a bit impatient. We want to get into the pose. I know it myself. Let's see if you manage. Yeah, okay. Wasn't that good. That's okay. So bring your hands to your blocks and find your pose. Spend a bit of movement here and there. Right line between your knee and your ankle. Lengthen your spine, open your chest, engage your belly muscles. Both legs are active. And three more full breaths here. Oh my god. I should have brought some tissue. <laughs> and last full breath. Now bring your block to the inside of your right foot, left hand on the block, right hand on your lower back, push your hand to the block, inhale, and on your exhale twist. And if you want to, you can bring your arm up. Breathe. One more full breath. Finish your exhale. And back to center. And we'll go up. So find your balance on both legs. You can lengthen a little bit your front knee just to have your balance up. And then bend a little bit more. Lengthen your spine. Open your chest. Arms above your head. Full breath. down both hands to the mat and on your inhale bring your right leg back and go into downward dog if downward dog is not part of your practice you can go into child's pose so whatever feels best for you and try to relax into either pose you chose deep breath One more full breath. Exhale. Bend your knees and walk towards your hands. If you're in child's pose, one leg at a time forward. Hands to your waist and come all the way up. Okay, one more variation of lunges. So the lunges that we just did are very much into strengthening but you might have also felt the leg that is extended you're also stretching your hip flexors the ones that we're going to do now are more uh, for flexibility even though you still work a bit with the front leg okay so arms above your head inhale bend your knees and fold forward 
fingertips to the mat and bring your right leg back and bring your right knee down so we stay here for some breaths again if you want to have blocks have blocks i prefer to have my fingertips on the mat when i have my knee down if you're at home and you feel pain on the back knee put a blanket or a towel under open your chest Two more full breaths. Finish your exhale and bring your torso up. Point your tailbone down and bend your knee again. Arms above your head. Open your chest, lengthen your spine, so try to relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw and your forehead and keep your lower belly slightly tucked in. Two more full breaths. Finish your exhale. Bring your hands down. And just for the fun of it, we'll do a little twist here. So bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee lengthen and twist here one more full breath exhale turn forward and fingertips to the mat tuck your right toes and on your inhale bring your right leg forward look up and fall inhale look up again fingertips to the mat and bring your left leg back left knee down then again here two choices either with the blocks or without the blocks and if you need a towel under your knee or a blanket, make sure that you have it close to you. Open your chest, lower belly slightly tucked in. If you squeeze a little bit your left glute, you might feel the stretch a bit more on your hip. One more full breath. Exhale. And bring your torso up. Tailbone pointing down. Bend your front knee a little bit more. Keep your torso straight. And arms above your head. Try to relax your shoulders, but keep your arms straight. more full breaths here finish your exhale left hand to the outside of your right knee left right hand on your lower back inhale and more full breaths finish your exhale and come back to center fingertips to the mat tuck your left toes and bring your left leg forward and fold again relax your head relax your shoulders when you fold forward remember that if you squeeze a little bit your thigh muscle and you imagine that you're sticking your sitting bones upwards bring your weight forward you'll feel 
a little bit better the stretch on the back of your legs. You can keep your knees slightly bent. One more full breath. Exhale. And look up on your next inhale. Exhale, hands to your waist. Inhale, come all the way up. Good. Okay, so we'll do a squat before we do some uh, uh, gentle stretches sitting on the mat or I think we'll lie down today and do a final relaxation. So have your feet a bit wider than your hips, toes pointing out and then slowly slowly with a straight back start squatting all the way down bring your arms inside your knees palms together thumbs at your heart keep your back straight and try to keep your gaze slightly up so to keep your uh, head in line with your spine so try not to look down not yet full breaths here remember that if squatting is not your thing you have the option of doing a half squat breaths here finish your exhale now bring your hands to the floor in front of you now you can round your back a little bit and you can let your head drop and stay here for some more breaths Full breath. Finish your exhale. Slowly lift your head up and come lie down on your back. I'm gonna put on my socks. back knees bent and place your right heel on your left thigh and bring your legs up grab the back of your left thigh and try to keep your whole back in contact with the mat if you are a bit tight in your muscles you might not be able to do so it might be here so I would recommend that you rather keep your legs down. You might still feel the stretch on your glute on your hip. Just try to breathe into the pose. One more full breath. Exhale, lengthen your left leg on the mat, keep your right knee bent, arms to the side, and just bring your right knee towards the left. And you can look towards the right if you want. One more full breath, exhale, and gently come back to center, and change sides, so left heel on the right thigh, 
and this can be your pose or bring your legs up and keep your back on the mat shoulders away from your ears can your chin slightly tucked in more full breaths lengthen your right leg arms to the side and bring your left knee towards the right side you can turn your head towards the left Two more full breaths. Finish your exhale and come back to center. And find your way into Shavasana. So I will sit up to guide your relaxation, but you find a comfortable lying position. So remember the option to wear to have something under your knees if that's better for your lower back you can sometimes place a chair in front of your legs and place your legs on the chair that's quite comfortable so whatever you choose make sure that you spend a little bit of time getting comfortable if you need a blanket have a blanket over you have your arms alongside your torso palms facing up relax your shoulders so exhale completely now slowly and deeply breathing through your nose and exhale through your mouth and again, inhale, exhale through your mouth, and again, continue breathing like this, while I guide your relaxation, so feel your heels in contact with the mat relax your toes the sole of your feet and the top of your feet relax your ankles your calf muscles and the back of your thighs relax your shins your knees and your thighs Relax your glutes and feel the weight of your pelvis towards your glutes. And on your next exhale, allow your belly to sink down. Relax your belly. And on your next exhale, feel your chest sinking down and relax your chest. Relax your lower back and your upper back. Relax your shoulders. And feel the back of your hands in contact with the floor. Feel the air on your palms. Relax your fingers. And relax both arms. Bring your attention.
attention to your jaw, try to relax your jaw and don't press your teeth together. Relax your eyes and your forehead. Now try to bring your attention to your whole body and enjoy just a couple of more minutes where you can just be. Nothing to do, nothing to achieve, nowhere to go, just be. Whenever you catch your mind thinking about anything else than just being, try to bring it back to your breath. Take a deep inhale and exhale and again inhale and exhale. Gently start wiggling your toes and your fingers. You can make circles with your wrists and your ankles if you wish to. You can also stretch yourself. And when you're ready, lie down on one side and stay there for a couple of breaths. And on your next inhale, come up to sit it. Try to keep your eyes closed or your gaze soft on the floor. Find a comfortable seated position, sit with a straight back, shoulders relaxed. Place your palms together, thumbs to the heart, and we'll do three breaths before we finish our session today. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. So inhale and exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale, and last one, inhale, exhale, and namaste. So thank you for in, uh, joining me on my outdoor adventure. I hope uh, it was okay. We had a crow singing for us the whole session, and I could hear the other birds visiting us so have a nice day and hope to see you soon again